A gearless bulk carrier like this is usually a single deck ship with double bottom, hooper tanks, single skin transverse frame, side shell topside tanks, and has a deck hatchways. Here is an example of a cargo hold cover of a bulk carrier. As we open the hatch by side rolling method, we will see how a cargo hold in a bulk carrier looks like. Normally, a hold can be opened in port for loading or discharging cargo, sometimes in anchorage or at sea in calm weather. But if at sea, extra care must be observed and should follow the company's procedure manual when opening and closing. Here we can see a spiral ladder with a guard. This spiral ladder is commonly used by seafarers and authorities when going down the hold. And this is a straight ladder which is usually used when we lower things like hoses, paints, and other things using ropes. These yellow lines indicate meters, used to have a rough estimate of how much cargo loaded or discharged in a hold. This corner is called corrugated transverse bulkhead, where some pipes or sounding bilges and balance tanks can be seen. These are the side shell brackets, and the big pipe is called the ballast pipe. Cargo hold is being checked by its plug state to make sure that it's still in good condition, and this time it's the class NK. And should the authorities raise some concern or deficiencies, it should be rectified at once. Let us look with this hold in 360 degrees. The upper side panel is where the topside tanks are located. These topside tanks provide the ship with sufficient stability preventing dangerous cargo to ship. The lower part in port or starboard are bilge hooper which contribute to convenience in collecting the cargos during discharging operation. You may pause this video to see the other parts of a hold. And this is a transverse section in a way of a cargo hold. Some cargos like grains require a clean and wash cargo hold to avoid contamination, so crews or the port providers do it to pass an inspection prior to loading. Here is an example of a coal cargo to be discharged in a port. A hold where discharging is already completed. You may observe some cargo residue. If the next cargo is also cold, sweeping will do just fine. Not necessarily requires to wash the cargo hold. Here is a close-up look of a piece of a coal. In this example of a discharging equipment by port. Here is an equipment used in port in loading cargo. An example is an iron ore. Here is how iron ore in a hole looks like. It can be fine or lump. This is the hatch cover panel underside looks like. We can view the ventilation on the sides and even the hatch cover bolts, which is used to secure the cargo hatch. This hatch cover should be watertight or weathertight during at sea to safeguard the cargo for contamination of seawater. Hatch cover requires maintenance too. This time, they wash the underside to replace the rubber packing. Lastly, here example of a gearless bulk carrier in a dry dock area.